Hey beautifuls, I'm just Jackie and see here. I'm here. I'm back with another video. As y'all can see in the title, it's going to be a haul. It's going to be a quick makeup haul. Um, for those of you who watched my previous video, thank you. If this is your first time stopping by my channel, hey, welcome and thank you. Click that bell. Click that bell in the top right button. I mean, top right area, wherever it is you see it on YouTube and subscribe so you get notifications when I do drop a video, which is every now and then. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> yeah. So, my thing is, I am consistent with being inconsistent. Yay! With all that being said, hey, beautifuls, I'm here. I'm back. Um, If you noticed in the last video... Uh, yes, I have colored my hair. I've actually colored my hair twice since the um, previous video um, that I dropped. The one, the makeup video I just dropped before this one. Um, I recorded a video prior to that weeks ago, but I never dropped it. So I, it was just the reddish color. And then like a month later, I added this color. So yeah, so I don't know. If y'all want a hair update video, let me know. Holla at your girl. Um, I can let you know what I'm doing. Um, you can see she's growing. Um, I got hang time with the shrinkage. Um, super excited about that. But yeah, right about here. Um, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, just depends on what lock you're pulling, obviously. But anyway, so... Y'all see me? You see me glowing? No, this is not a hot flash. This is just a nice, happy glow from, you know, I did the same face uh, I did in the previous video. And, again, this is a haul. So, the first thing I'm going to start with is this Born to Glow from NYX. Um, this is a concealer. This is very new to me. Uh, I'm going to be honest with my beautifuls out there. Y'all know I have been out of the loop when it comes to makeup. The only reason why I know about some of the stuff I know about is from my girl Lori. Um, just watching random YouTube videos. When I do watch YouTube videos and, um, and just... Normally when I go into Ulta or Sephora, but I had not been going, guys. I have really been chilling with everything, okay? I have really been chilling with everything. I'm just touching up this little eye area. I've been chilling with everything. Um, I was just really focused on my career and stuff. Um, I think I was, if I was really into my YouTube like I was prior then I would still be up to date on like makeup and all that stuff, but I really ain't. And it's not that I don't, you know, it's not, I, I still love my YouTube. I just want to do it when I feel like I can give you guys my in the best energy that I have. So today hey, I have good energy, you know what I'm saying? So I'm here. And again, this born to glow, it, they have a whole line. Look, ignore these ashy ass knuckles because I just washed my hands because you know with the corona, you know. So let me oil it up. Well, this is empty. That's great. I'm looking for my other oil. This one I'm gonna have to do for now. But yeah, so anyway, this Born to Glow. The only thing I tried from it, obviously, is this concealer. And I like it. Again, check out the previous video. You can see how I got this simple, you know, clean face done. No foundation. I used this Born to Glow and a few other items, but there's no foundation whatsoever. Okay? No foundation. And I like it because... You know, by the time you finish setting it with whatever setting powder you have, it's like you have a nice inner glow. So, like you, like you see me kind of dewy, and but it's not. A, you can tell it's not a hot flash. Trust me, it'll it'll look more wet if it was a hot flash. So, but yeah, so it's just like a nice natural inner glow that's coming out. So I, I'm really digging this um Born to Glow concealer. If anybody else has used it, let me know. Um, one of the, my favorite things about it is the applicator. I love this applicator. It's it's super duper dope, you guys. So, and the color I'm using is cappuccino so yeah loving this another thing i bought on my haul was the urban decay um 
all nighter face primer because I was looking for a new primer, y'all. When I tell you, I have not been shopping. I have really been when I do do makeup. I've just been using scraps. When I say scrap samples, because, you know, over time, we accumulate a lot of samples, whether it be from you know, when we buy from Ulta or Sephora or, or whatever. And I had, like, so many um, mini samples of primers. I was just going through them, going through them. But then I was like, Jackie, go shopping, find your new primer, blah, 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 we'll do them. So I'm trying the Urban Decay All Nighter. Um, it says Long Wear Foundation Grip. Um, prep smooths and perfects. Um, I've I've only tried it twice, so but so far so good. Um, if you guys want me to go more in depth with this Urban Decay All Nighter, let me know and I will. All right. So here's the handy dandy bag. The next thing I got, I I, was, I had to stop back up on my real technique. Um beauty blenders um because the ones i got they they done so i restock up on my beauty blenders okay uh i wanted to get the i say beauty blender but you know what i mean i wanted to get the beauty blender sponges but i'm not paying twenty dollars a pop when i can just get this four pack for ten dollars i believe it's it was okay so and and plus it does i, I like it i you know, it, there's a slight difference, but these still do what it do. You know what I'm saying? All right. So next thing, I was I was like, y'all, when I say I was out of stuff using bare, 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 bare scraps, um, I had samples of primers. I um, mean, not primers, of setting sprays and stuff. Um, I ran out of that, I, and I think that's what made me go shopping. I ran out of setting spray. I ran out of face primer. And it's like, girl, you got to go shopping now because you you tripping. So anyway, when I went to Ulta, um, and I was look, I did pick up the handy dandy prep and prime from Mac, but I just kept walking around and I I was over into the drugstore aisle and I was over in Wet and Wild and I was like, I remember how much I like the Wet and Wild um setting spray. It was just a it was the mattifying one, right? And that was the one where all you needed was like two or three mist and and you good. Cause if you did any more, you, you're doing too much. Cause it's very mattifying. But it was so good, your face would not go nowhere. So I saw the cucumber, which I did highlight in my previous video, and then I also saw this one. It said coconut, right? And they're three in one um, primer water they're three one primer water so you prep it you can prep your face set your face and refresh refresh so i literally just used this one to refresh before i push record um on my for this video so the for prepping like i was saying in the previous video i'm i'm assuming like either like once you once you put your primer on, maybe you can spray it, you know, spray it before you put the foundation on. But I see other makeup artist gurus, they will, uh, how, do they, how do they do it? I think they put their, I want to say they spray their face and then they put their foundation on and it, it like helps, you know, keep the foundation in place. So I think that's what it is. After you prime your face, you know, just before you put your foundation on, you know, use, use that. So that could be prep. And then fixer. I mean, set. The set is when you fin when you completely done with your face. You ready to set it and forget it? Boom, set it and forget it. So I haven't tried the coconut yet, y'all, because it's it's still got the wrapping on it. But I am enjoying this cucumber. It is the bomb. It feels so refreshing on my face. Like when it says refresh, it really like wakes your makeup up. Like like. When you you know when you have like this old looking I don't wore this makeup for eight hours and woke up the next morning and I still got that face on spray this up there and it just wakes your whole face up and it's like boom so I got I got two because it was like buy one get one half off or whatever so let me know if you guys have tried the um the Wet n Wild setting spray before um the regular one and let me know if anybody has tried the cucumber and the coconut um. I haven't tried to cook it up. I'm definitely enjoying the cucumber, okay? 
All right, let's see what else I got in here. Listen, I was so happy to see this. And also, y'all know this is my favorite mascara. This is the Maybelline Last Sensational. And I always get the blackest black. Um, I'm actually using one. I bought two. I was like... I ain't got time to be playing with these people because, like, I, I usually wear mascara every day. Like, if I don't do nothing, I'm doing brows, mascara, and some gloss and, and liner. If that. Sometimes sometimes it's nothing, y'all. I've really been, like, not wearing makeup and, and don't care because I, I love the skin I'm in. You know what I'm saying? So, like, if I put on the faces for something for a good-ass reason, you know, good-ass occasion, get dressed up, you know, dolled up, whatever, keep it moving. So, boom. So, I bought two, right? Because when I say I had nothing, nothing, I was using samples, like, from the Mac. I, I it, This, I'm telling you, that's why I ended up going shopping, because I ran out of everything. I had to. I had to. I had to stop bullshitting, you know what I'm saying? All right. So, now, I did not have any more lash primer, I want to go. I wanted my subversion. They ain't have no more subversion. They was talking about we can get it from the store. I was like, no, nah, I'm good. I said, D, can you recommend another um another lash primer? So they recommended the Lancome. Um, what do they call it? Seals. Seals, booster. XL. So this is the this is the travel size. I was like, I ain't buying no full size until I I try it and if I and see if I like it. I don't mind spending like thirteen dollars on a um on a tra on a mini on a travel size mini. You know what I'm saying? Because if I don't like it, then I don't feel like I really wasted my money. I feel like I tried it and kept it moving. My camera don't want to focus, but it's all good. So anyway, so I haven't tried it yet. When I do try it, if my beautiful woman to let, if you want me to do a Sunday sample on it, because I haven't done a Sunday sample in a long time, let me know if you would like me to do a Sunday sample on this um, primer. All right. And I want to say that primer was like thirteen dollars, twelve or thirteen dollars. All right, you guys. Um, I was looking for a good correct, of uh, not color corrector. Well, I was looking for a good CC cream. Right? A good CC cream. So, I just happened to be walking around looking at it. And um, I was like, oh, they got a CC cream. I ain't a fan of their foundation. I remember when I ordered it from whatever that damn home shopping network. And the color I got, it said deep. But it, there's no way that was deep, this deep. You know what I'm saying? So, But I ended up figuring out a, a way to use the stuff. And it's all good. But... When I want something for the purpose I bought it for, that's what I want it for. But anyway, so I picked, it says your skin, but better CC plus color correcting, illuminating full coverage cream, anti-aging hydrating serum, SPS 50. So this is from It Cosmetics. I've tried it one time and I really can't tell you how I feel about it. So... If you would like me to do a full review on this thing, let me know, and I got you. Because I don't want to tell you, I, I really can't tell you how I feel about it just from that one use that I, but I will say I do like this pump, okay? And this was like $39.95, I believe. I believe it was $39.95. But I, I, the color is, the color is good. But if you want me to, you really want me to get into this. Cause I really haven't gotten into it because I'm liking the other face that I've been doing lately. So let me know. And I got you. Okay. I got you. Honestly, I feel like it cosmetics ain't really for us women of color, but every now and then you might find something that's spot on, but I don't know if this is spot on yet. All right. Now, last but not least, I just wanted to pick up my oldie but goodie because I know I was low on the color and I didn't want to run out. So I just wanted to have it already. Boom. MAC. I haven't even opened it. Um, Pro Longwear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation. Like anybody who knows me, anybody who's been rocking with me, I don't even care if you've been rocking with me for six months, a year. You should know this is my, this is Bay. This is my favorite 
foundation, the MAC waterproof longwear foundation. This shit don't go nowhere. I don't even care if you don't set your face or whatever. This foundation ain't going nowhere. When I hot flash and the hot flash subsides and goes away, the face look like I just finished it. Period. That's it. That's all I got. So, I had to pick up another one of those. So, because that's just ever going to, that's just, this is forever going to be my holy grail. Okay. So, beautiful. That is my haul. Got me some Mac. Some It. Like I said, if y'all want me to go further with some of these products, let me know. Guys, you got. Like, when I tell you, I'm just going to, like this. Just try it. Just try it. It's, listen, I would rather have this. Then the matte prep and prime mattes. I did not like that. Did I say matte prep and prime? I, I mean the matte fix plus um, mattes. I did not like that at all. It was just, it just, it just did. I don't know. Everything matte ain't great, okay? Because you know, for us all the girls, we always looking for something that says matte. Sometimes just get away from the matte. If you got a matte foundation, if you got matte primer, you good. You don't mean your setting spray got to be matte too. Maybe that's too much matte going on. Because we, you know, it's about to be summertime and stuff. We want to glow. We want to shine and shine. You know, we got that glow. So, but definitely try these. You're going to get your money's worth, period. That's all I got. This born to glow. Come on, look at my look at my look at me glowing. Look at me glowing. Happy girl. I'm a happy girl. I'm so I'm so happy. I'm just happy with with everything and I'm just I'm just having a I'm, I'm enjoying life right now and I'm happy. I wanna say uh, but I'll save it for life after 40. So come on. Can't go wrong with my last sensational. Listen, even though I've only tried this twice, I can tell the difference. Shout out to this bad boy here, the all-nighter. Um, and of course, real techniques. You can't go wrong with that. And yeah, this lash primer. So beautiful. Anything that I have shown you in this video and you want to know more about it, leave a comment in the leave a comment below. And I'll do a special video for you. Um, I'll do a, a full review on whatever product you would like me to do a full review on. Okay. So with all that being said, that is it. Thank you for coming and hanging out with I'm Just Jackie. And that's all I got for you today, beautifuls. I'll catch you guys next time. This is...